So this is another classic calculus one problem. What we have is uh, we're going to have a lamp post here and we're also going to have a person just walking away from the lamp post. And so it's going to be shining light down and as the person he's going to be walking away at a constant speed um, and we're going to find out what the rate of change uh, that the length of a shadow is increasing. So this person's walking let's say at 1.5 uh, meters per second. He's going this way. Um, and let's say that our person is two meters tall. And let's say the lamppost is uh, say the lamp post is eight meters tall. Now let's call the distance uh, between the person and the lamppost. Uh, let's just call this x. And let's call the distance uh, or the length of the shadow. Let's call that distance just y. And now we know that you can see this the uh, the triangle that um, that the person makes uh, with his, his height and the length of his shadow is a similar triangle to the overall triangle caused by the the lamp post to the end of the shadow. Right? This is just a smaller version. These are similar triangles, so we can relate them by saying that uh, x plus y over eight. Right? That's this length, the whole entire length, and the uh, entire height. Is, uh, is the same, it's just a scaled up version of uh, y over 2. y over 2. And so now if we just isolate y, we can, uh, we'll can we multiply both sides by 2 and then both sides by 8 to get these off the bottom. So we'll get 2y uh, plus 2x, oops, I switched the order, uh, is equal to 8y, 8y. And then we'll just put all the y's on one side, so we'll get um, 2y is going to be equal to, or sorry, 2x. My bad. 2x is going to be equal to 6y. And then y will be equal to 2 over 6x, uh, like that. All right. So now um, let's just write it the other way. Uh, it's a little bit easier to look at it like um, with y on this side. y is equal to 2 over 6x. Or if you want, we could write y. Um, you could reduce that. Where y is equal to one third x. And now we want to differentiate this, so we will get um, let's see, dy dt differentiating with respect to time is going to be equal to one third uh, times dx dt. And we know what dx dt is, so we can say uh, dy dt is equal to one-third times uh, dx dt was the rate of change of x, which is 1.5 meters per second. Uh, sorry, this is one-third uh, times 1.5. And then we'll find out that dy dt, the rate of change in the length of the shadow, is equal to 0 0.5, and that was meters per second. So actually the rate of the change in the shadow is changing at a constant rate. Um, just like he's moving away from the lamppost at a constant speed too.